hearing aids while you swim to hearing aiding uh, your TV habits. Our next guest is joining us now, first guest this hour, to tell us how advanced the hearing aid technology has gotten over the last couple of years, and they are not lagging behind in sharing that tech with us. So we're glad to have the Senior Manager of Product Management with Siemens Hearing Instruments, Dr. Eric Brenda. Dr. Brenda, Eric, welcome back into hey. tomorrow. Yeah. I think we met last year here for the first time when you had uh, the first waterproof hearing aid, was it? Yes, we were back here, we were here a year ago with a waterproof hearing yeah. aid and happy to be back again. Dynamite. Now, how has that been going? I mean, a year later, because uh, we talked about the introduction of the waterproof hearing aid, it's now been available. Folks are using it uh, and, and not only going into the shower, are they swimming with it or what's oh, the deal? We've got uh, You've got student athletes who are swimming with it. You've got professional athletes that they're using this, uh, you know, with playing professional football. So you've oh. got uh, lots of people using it because water resistance, um, yeah. protecting from dust and shock resistance, all important for the hearing aid wearer. And I'm, I'm assuming it's also uh, a nice fit because if they're athletes, for example, they're not falling out in the middle exactly. of uh, playing football or doing what they got to do. even have little clips to help secure it so it's more stable when they're uh, performing athletics. Good. That's better than like stapling it to your ear, I guess. It, it, I it is a little more comfortable <laughs> that yeah, way. Or super glue. Or, yes. uh, we won't go there. Um, uh, but how can those with hearing loss in general utilize technology uh, to be able to to stay connected with their loved ones, for example, so little, and then, let alone work and, and other environments. Yep, it comes in the same idea. We don't want to limit what people are doing. And, you know, so if you have a hearing loss, there's already challenges in communication. So we yeah. put as much processing as we can in the hearing instruments. And now what we want to make sure that they can do, and something we've been doing for a while and are improving on, is you, know, you want to watch TV. You don't want to have the TV up loud and bothering everybody else in the room. Yeah. Telephone calls in, com call comes in. And You've got your smartphone with Bluetooth capabilities. You want to take that call and hear it in the hearing aids. So we want to do as much to make you know, everything you do in your normal daily life accessible through the hearing aid. So uh, what we talk about is I'm just showing uh, probably one of our most popular instruments. This is uh, Wow, my gosh, this is tiny. I mean, when I say it fits in the palm of my hand, it, it gets lost in the palm of my hand. It is so tiny. Uh, and th for those listening on the radio right now, have no fear. Uh, you can check out the video anytime at your convenience at intotomorrow.com. But tell me about this one. Wow. So this is our pure hearing aid. It's a receiver and canal, meaning that the speaker of the instrument actually goes in the ear. So most of what people see is this little thin wire up in front of the ear, yeah. and then the instrument just hides itself nicely behind the ear. It's smaller than the little IFBs uh, for, uh, for, uh, for TV news anchors, for example. It's you get the idea, and it just kind of flips behind your ear, and you can't even yeah. see it. Yeah, it's very discreet, and that's important because because we want to do all the stuff for hearing and still make things discreet. So what we've put on, built into there is we have wireless connectivity in there. We have a wireless system in there. So this other device is, you can almost think of it like a hub. It's a uh, wireless remote streamer. Uh -huh. And this has Bluetooth capabilities. So what we can do is have a phone connect to it. We can have a transmitter send a, a TV signal to it. And then what it can do is take those different signals and stream that right into the hearing aid. So now, where would we use this device? I mean, it has a belt clip. So, does, so would this actually, say, clip on the belt yep. if I'm the hearing uh, aid wearer? You can clip it on the belt, or a lot of people clip it on their shirt, because if I take a phone call, this actually works as the microphone for my phone. Oh, so nice. I will talk into to that, or it will okay. pick up my voice, and then I'll hear the phone call via the hearing aids. Very nice. So then, uh, and obviously, it'll power switches and speaker switch mm -hmm. and so forth. And, but that makes it, and this thing then connects it with this little hearing aid. Exactly, it streams right to that little hearing aid. Uh, nice. And what also then becomes you know, convenient with that is we want to give easy access to that. So it's, it, we keep it tiny, the buttons are there for people to press, it works very easily, but people don't always want to reach behind a hearing aid or pull out something that not people aren't as familiar with or well, what's he taking out of his pocket to yeah. adjust. So to partner with that, we've developed an app and showing the app right here on a tablet, uh, this app gives me all my direct access to this remote control. So I'm showing it on a tablet, but of course you could have it on, say, your Android phone. Sure, you pick up your phone and nobody would think twice so about that. They and think you're texting, you're playing yeah. a game. So, yeah. And you're actually changing the hearing aids, changing them, turning the volume up and looking for specific settings you may want. Mm -hmm. And it goes right into that, giving as much technology as possible, but keeping it nice and discreet yeah. and still not limiting anybody. And again, this is uh, connected via Bluetooth. So this would go with Bluetooth signal to the streaming device, right. and then that would use another inductive signal up to the hearing aid. Terrific. And uh, here I'm seeing you can select program. You can obviously select uh, up or down in volume mm -hmm. or, or quick mute if you need to and yep. that select selecting the audio source. source so you've got all these different, whether it's your phone or the TV. TV. Or 
uh, anything else that you've connected. Bluetooth, Skype, or we even talk about a, a companion microphone. Let's say you're at a restaurant. I could have this companion microphone. Um, the guest could be wearing this clip to oh, the shirt. Yes. And whether I'm sitting right next to you, rather than talking in your ear, or if I'm sitting at the other end of the table, this will stream the, the voice right to the Minitech, and the Minitech will send the signal up into the hearing aids. Now, this is very clever. So, and, I, and, I, and I think your, your example is perfect, because it's, if I'm just you know, in need of the hearing aid, and I have somebody having mm -hmm. dinner with me, and we're in a noisy environment, just clip the mic on. Yep. It looks like uh, you're doing an interview or something, but exactly. the fact is now I'm not having to strain uh, to hear you or yep. otherwise. I'm just listening through the mini-tech, as you mentioned. Exactly. It's just like having the voice right in your ears. Yeah. No, that's very clever. And, and you guys at Siemens typically are thinking of all sorts of things. And, of course, a CES honoree as well, so yes. award-winning products. These are very cool things yes. uh, to do. Uh, where do you see the, the hearing aid improvement technology headed into tomorrow? What are you? Uh, what's around the corner? Uh, we're always looking at more and better ways to improve in the technology and also still managing to keep discrete sizes and yeah. keeping um, low battery drain so people don't have to change batteries all the time. Uh, just really making sure everybody can do everything they want to sure. do. A good example of size does matter, so keeping exactly. things even smaller, but yet don't lose them, uh, yes. and still be able to keep a good battery life, which is the key in any electronics yes. these days, for sure. Exactly. Well, Eric, thank you for spending a few minutes with us. Uh, keep up the good work. I mean, this is no doubt helping a whole lot of people, all age groups as well. Uh, it's not just for uh, for those of us getting on in years that say, well, you know, we're, I'm saying, huh, too much? Yep. I need some help. You mentioned athletes and, and of course, kids with hearing problems. Exactly. Whatever the case, there's a, a solution that's going to help you. And I'm loving the interaction with all the cool tech. This is this is very good. We like to think our technology changes lives. Yeah, very true. Well, thank you, sir. USA.Siemens.com slash hearing. I know it's kind of a long, almost convoluted URL, but trust me, you want to get to Eric's department with Siemens because they do so many cool electronics. You want to get to the hearing. So usa.siemens.com slash hearing or just hit intotomorrow.com and look for Eric's interview uh, during our CES coverage. We'll link you right there. We're back with more from Las Vegas. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.